Meanwhile, another person of interest in the Daniel Morecambe inquest is expected to be one of the first sex offenders to have a GPS tracking device fitted. The new anklet bracelets passing a test run, proving they're capable of monitoring predators around the clock. A dirty dozen. Twelve of the state's most dangerous offenders will soon have nowhere to hide. Each set to be fitted with the newest technology, a device to track their every move. It is right for them to be have an anklet and it's right for the authorities to track where these people go. The state government's just given it the green light. The new satellite tracking devices have passed a test, confidently able to detect an offender down to five metres on an online map. This means that uh, Queensland children have some of the highest levels of protection of any state in the nation. But the first 12 won't be tagged until later this year. The trial was successful. Uh, so we're simply saying, get it happening now, so start protecting our children in our, in, our, in our communities. The Sunshine Coast community has heard how prevalent sex offenders are. A coronial inquest heard more than 33 known sex offenders were on the coast the afternoon Daniel Morecambe went missing. Person of interest known as P5, due for release from prison in February, is expected to be fitted. We have to protect our, the youngest people in our society and anything we can do to do that I think is a very good idea. Eventually almost 70 will be tracked statewide. Lauren Ritchie, Win News.